Hey there, Gavin Gear here, technical evangelist, evangelist on the Microsoft Imagine team, and I'm here with Varun Gupta. I work on uh, tools for iOS and Android apps. And that's what we're here to talk about, right? Xamarin, in this case, and we have some great news for students. Uh, Xamarin is a part of our offer via the Microsoft Imagine program. And what does that mean? Why should they care? Oh, well, Xamarin um, is really hot in the job market right now. Every company on the planet wants to have a mobile app. Yep. And Xamarin gets you those great looking apps. Mm -hmm. And today we are giving out tools worth $3,000 yep. for free to students to use so that they can build those skills. Yeah, I love free tools. I love learning new skills. And learning a skill like Xamarin is great because you can use a powerful language like C Sharp. A lot of the capabilities that are in .NET as part of the .NET framework. Uh, Xamarin is a little bit different. I'm going to ask about that in a second. And you can build apps for iOS, Android, and Windows that share mostly up to 90% or thereabouts the same code base, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you don't have to write the exact same code, you know, three times mm -hmm. for different platforms. You can just write it, uh, you know, once and share most of it. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you still want different UI yep. uh, for iOS and Android, uh, but you know, it saves you a lot of time and cost. That's why companies around the world uh, are so behind this technology. Mm -hmm. But the problem right now is uh, that there's so much demand for it mm -hmm. and the number of jobs out there are humongous. It's just that great opportunity for students to learn this and get competitive in the jobs market. Yeah, and if you can learn it for free, I mean, in terms of your overhead with the tooling, that's uh, that's a great opportunity. Absolutely, like the problem up until now was that you have you know this incredible technology, every company wants you to have it, mm -hmm. but it's so expensive for students to learn. Yep. <laughs> three grand, I didn't have three grand at college. Right, okay, so let's talk about the technology just a little bit. So Xamarin is different than other cross-platform technologies, cross-platform technologies like Cordova. Tell me what the difference is. Yeah, so Xamarin um, essentially um, is a native tools technology. What that means is if you make an app using Xcode, Android Studio, Windows, uh, those tools, uh, you get a native app. Uh, As in not interpreted, right? Not interpreted. <laughs> Basically, it's in case of iOS, Apple, it is compiled down to native executable mm -hmm. code. And Xamarin does the same thing. Mm -hmm. It compiles your app, it takes everything and just compiles it down to native code for you. So your app runs has similar performance, looks great because you built your app using the same UI designer that you would use in case of Xcode. Mm -hmm. So it's basically, it's a win-win. I mean, you get similar performance at much lower cost. And that's why companies around the world are making beeline for it and job market for it is really hot and it's going to be going to get more hotter at the time. Right, because Xamarin is not a flash in the pan, right? It's been around for a while. It's an established technology and they keep building it and evolving it to take advantage of of the platforms. So that's a, that's another thing that you can do is you can do native things, right? Absolutely, absolutely. If, if you need core motion API on iOS, you can punch down into that and take advantage of that in your iOS specific code. Absolutely, you get uh, access to 100% of platform APIs as well. Yep. So you are not limited in any way. So here's a question. Everyone wants their resume to like, you know, be at the top of the, of the stack. And if someone's looking for a Xamarin candidate, what, what can students be working on? How can they fill out their skill set with Xamarin to raise their resume to the top? Yeah, absolutely. That's a great question. I think uh, for students, important thing is going to be that they have played around with the platform. They have built some apps mm -hmm. uh, for all three platforms. And if it's on your resume, you should know it in and out. <laughs> Quick tip, <laughs> right? <laughs> and I would say that you would have built an app and yeah. that will give you a huge advantage mm -hmm. because um, and publish not, the app even better, right? Oh, here's my app in the store. Go check it out. That's I mean, pretty impressive. That's like <laughs> slam dunk. Yeah. Like even at Microsoft, like in my team, if we have like somebody who has published apps and stuff, mm -hmm. that's like slam dunk. Yeah. I mean, 
to, to me, like, there's no way to understand it better than to actually having, you know, built something with whatever technology or tool set it is. There's just no substitute for that. Absolutely. And I would say that, you know, start off with just playing around with the offer that we have today. Mm -hmm. uh, start off with it would yep. be my advice. Uh, so so let's, let's talk about that for a second. If you're a student and if you want to try out Xamarin, all you need to do is activate Xamarin via your uh, DreamSpark subscription. And then you can go ahead and from DreamSpark, download the tools. You're going to need Visual Studio, even the uh, Community Edition, right? And you can basically just populate all the checkboxes. And then when you get through the process, you've got to sign into Xamarin. Is that right? Yep. So basically, um, follow those steps mm -hmm. and uh, you know start playing around with it. There's a lot of cool documentation on Xamarin.com to get started. Mm -hmm. to say, uh, start with that. and. Uh, you can start to put these things on your resume, which will make you really competitive in the job market. Yep. So uh, I'm just getting my hands dirty with, with Xamarin. I'm just getting started, but I'm going to be tweeting about it and blogging about it because it is a part of our offers, part of the Imagine program. And it's a technology that has a lot of different capabilities to it. Let's talk about a little bit about some of the different um, platform variants. There's Xamarin.iOS, or Xamarin.Android, and Xamarin.Forms. What, what's the difference between all those things? Yeah, absolutely. So basically, in Xamarin native, Xamarin iOS, Android, we give you the actual UI designers mm -hmm. um, for iOS and Android, so that your UI, you, you know, you can actually tailor it according to the platform. So it looks like an Android app, or Android. looks like an iOS app. Absolutely. And behaves like them. Absolutely. And Xamarin Forms is a newer technology which helps you um, write one UI, and it tries to do its best to make that app look like mm -hmm. um, UI on both sides. Mm -hmm. um, it's both are really popular with companies. Mm -hmm. So I talk to Fortune 500 companies all the time, and I see them uh, going on Xamarin using that and it's a great job opportunity for students coming in. Yeah. Uh, there's not, a, it's, 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 it's a new market, it's very hot, it's on the radar of every CTO yep. out there. So okay. it's basically a great opportunity. Yeah, there's, you know, learning native platforms is great. That's always going to be a great skill to have on your, on your resume, but you know, it's a different mindset. I've I've written apps for Android and for iOS. Granted, year a few years back, um, you know, each platform has their pros and cons. I, I found the iOS uh, UI designer model to be a completely different paradigm than what I was used to. So, for instance, and then I love the idea with Xamarin of being able to use a designer that kind of has continuity with regard to how you're going to build your UX and how you're going to build the application. And there's a little bit of extra work to do like on iOS, right? Because you're going to need a Mac to actually run it in the simulator or publish it to the store. But the bulk of your work, you can get done kind of all in one place in one sort of mindset. Yeah, and I think this is the main reason why Xamarin is so hot with Fortune 500 companies in the job market, that all these things result in these companies being able to build great apps quickly. Mm -hmm. And so, maintain them and update them. Absolutely. Yeah, right. Absolutely. And I think it's, um, it's it's just a great time for students. C-sharp is really easy language to use. And flexible. You can do a lot of other things, a lot of other job opportunities. Absolutely. And the main it. thing is that if you, like, you don't need to learn, you know, three, four languages, Objective-C, mm -hmm. Swift, Java, yeah. to kind of do be a mobile developer. This right. allows you to learn one language, be good at it, and then just use that skill set across all platforms yeah. and build exactly similar, great looking mm -hmm. and performant apps. Yep. That's why it's a, you know, that's why Fortune 500 companies are, uh, you know, lapping it up. I mean, mm -hmm. that's why it's in so much demand. Yeah. Um, so what should I build? I'm <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out what, what app I'm going to build with Xamarin. So uh, my team wrote this page on um, MSDN where we help you build your first app. Mm -hmm. Definitely go check it out. Um, we build a weather app, a simple app mm -hmm. where you enter a zip code and it shows you weather for it. So check it out. And we have a lot of samples on uh, Xamarin.com and Microsoft.com websites. So 
check them out. I mean, samples is a great way to get started. You can mm -hmm. load up a sample and you know look it up. Mm -hmm. And we have some guides on Xamarin.com as well, where yep. you can see uh, it explains what the sample does and how mm -hmm. do you browse around it. Yep, that that's that's a good strategy to Here, be started. Here's a thought as well: look at the job descriptions for the jobs you're targeting. Look at how many years of experience they're looking at. If you're a student and you get started today, you're gonna you're gonna be a step ahead of, of your competition, right? If you're looking for three to five years of experience with Xamarin, it'd be great to be able to say, I've been working with Xamarin for three years and I've written these apps and I know the platform frontwards and backwards. Boom. Okay. So I can't I can't wait to start using it more and I appreciate you, Varun, coming over and uh, talking with me and talking to our audience on Periscope here. Well, thank you, everybody, and have a great time with Xamarin. Uh, feel free to tweet us uh, uh, and, uh, you know, at MSFT Imagine handle, and mm -hmm. we'll pick up questions and have fun with Xamarin. Yep, see you guys later.